Hi, this is Edis, Educational Technologist at Oregon Tech, and in this video I am going to go over how to change the pen thickness and settings in the SmartBoard program. This will work for both types of uh, SmartBoards, whether it's the LED or the um, projector style. Uh, the only difference is in the projector style you will have the, the pen tray settings where it would be the red, I mean the black, the red, the green, and the blue. Um, and you would just click on those instead of the pens like I'm going to show you now. So what you're going to do is go ahead and right click on the smart board icon here in, in the uh, notification area and go to smart settings. And then um, so you'll get this screen here. Um, you will want to go to the uh, smart hardware settings. I know that the ink settings um, seems almost like it should be the way, the direction you go to, but um, this is a different set of settings. So I will discuss this in a different video, but for this video, I we are going to go into the smart hardware settings. So this is an LED board that I'm actually connected to. Um, so you can see I have the pens that are uh, available with the LED board. Um, if this does not say pen and button settings, just go ahead and select it. You should have that available to you as well. Um, so in here, if you do have the old projector style, you'll actually see the pen tray like I was talking about earlier where it's the black, the red, the green, and the blue. And you're going to click on each of the colors and do what I'm going to do here with these pens. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the black pen and I may choose to um, change uh, the style to a thicker one, a thinner one, and this is going to set it for each and every time I use the board. So make sure you select the setting you always want to use. You can change it later, but just uh, this is going to be your default setting here. So go ahead and click Save Tool Properties, and I'm going to do the same with the red pen. And again, I can go in here and maybe I want it really thick and I'm going to go ahead and say save tool settings. You can also um, click on the eraser. You can change the size of the eraser. It doesn't really matter which size you want to go with. It, it's just a personal preference there. So I'm going to go ahead and go back because I don't mind it being in the middle. Um, if you click on defaults, it's going to reset everything. So don't click on that unless you want to reset everything. And just one other thing, this is also where you can find the orient. I just want you to be aware of that. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So one of the things I want you to be aware of is you have another step to do, um, especially on the projector style boards. Um, if you don't do this, then you may still get the same thickness that was originally set. But see here, you just click on the thickness here as well. That will set it all the way. So as you can see here, I can write on the board now and it's thin. So let me go ahead and get the uh, red pen. I'm going to go ahead and close this real quick. Now with the red pen, if you remember, I made it kind of thick. Um, you can see that it's already set here, but I would just double click it just in case um, you have a um, one of the projector style boards because it does not always recognize the smart ink as well. But So I'm going to go ahead and write in the red and you'll see that it's thick. I can also change it on the fly, but just again, like I said, um, if I do change it, to a thinner board or a thinner marker um, that it won't stay the next time that you open up a smart board or you re you sign back in. You actually have to go through the whole process of um, setting the default again in through the smart board program here with the smart settings. Let's see if it changed it. I just am curious. I shouldn't have changed it in the red settings, but let's look. And you can see that the default still stays there. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, please contact me, edis.warden at oit.edu, extension 51730, and you can always find me on the Skype directory. Thank you and have a good day.